this is the one about Joburg CBD. Johannesburg, South Africa, one of the coolest and most vibrant cities on the continent, boasting the densest collection of skyscrapers in Africa and being of major significance to South Africa's struggle to freedom. Who wouldn't want to visit Joburg? Well, turns out many tourists still don't. Persisting narratives about high crime rates and no-go areas have given the city bad rep. But by now we all know the danger of a single story. So that's why today I'm going to show you a cool way to explore the city, especially the central business district, all while supporting a black owned business. Let's go. My name is Sebo Marovela. I'm a 30 year old Limpopo born Joburg City living king. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, but I live in Joburg. I love the city so much. And yeah, I'm a fashion entrepreneur. I have been doing this for a few years. And yeah, that is me. So the CBD for me, it's the birth of Joburg. That's where it all started. It literally is the cornerstone of Joburg and it's 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 the sky rise it looks beautiful it photographs well and it's where the character is there is culture here the CBD for me it's what has become the heart of Joburg why I say that because the heart of Africa actually why I say this because this is where everybody from everywhere is if you think of any African person who's trying to make it who's trying to make a living they come to Joburg CBD first. So this is a city where it includes all Africans. It has the character, it has the color, the smell of good food. So for me, that is one thing that I think every person, if you're going to, if you say you want to experience South Africa, you have to come and experience this. Like, cause this will make you travel to so many parts of Africa while you're in Joburg. So let's take a step back. CBD stands for Central Business District. Some people might also call it downtown or the inner city. Along the years, Joburg CBD has seen quite the transformation. There was economic prosperity and rapid development in the 1960s and 70s. One example is the Carlton Center, which is still Africa's fourth tallest building today. Of course, the benefits of this growth were only enjoyed by a certain group, Joburg CBD was labelled as a whites-only area under apartheid. In the 80s, political uncertainty and the onset of economic sanctions caused many international companies to leave South Africa and many local companies left the CBD. The phenomenon of white flight ensued. By the 90s, the CBD had developed a reputation as a no-go area with very high crime rates. Some of you might remember Louis Theroux's BBC documentary, Law and Disorder in Johannesburg. Since then, there have been serious redevelopment efforts, both public and private, as the example of Maboneng shows. The CBD has re-emerged as a vibrant melting pot with many offerings in arts, culture, cuisine and nightlife. One of these offerings is a cool city meets fashion tour, the Karachi Experience. The Karachi Experience is, literally in three, two, four words, is the city meeting fashion, meeting you, and experiencing all of that. So it's about uh, you coming into the city, walking through the city. Um, it's like a city tour with a fashion element to it. In the end, you get to create a garment, whether it's a jacket, a kimono, shorts, it's also something you can see it as a souvenir of the city. So after you've been in Joburg for a bit, then you created something that you first went to the fabric market, picked up the fabric, one of these fabrics, 
and then after you pick up the fabric then you get to do a garment with this and then you take it home so the first thing we start with we start from the studio just to know each other an icebreaker water a snack a drink if we want to and then from there we head down to the fabric market the fabric market is about a 15 minutes walk but very gentle i always say to people if i can do it anyone can do it because i'm not quite fit so this walk is not so hectic it's a very easy walk and then we get to the fabric store you have about 30 minutes in the fabric store to choose a fabric that you like and then when we come back we come and decide what you'd like to do and when i say decide is there's no limit you can do just a scarf a bag a hat a jacket a dress anything we do um we've done tote bags or any different thing like that after about 20 minutes we have made some picks for our favorite fabrics that now we have to narrow down to the one we're going to select to make the garment nice pink and blue blue and orange definitely a pink theme and then from there we come back to the studio and then take measurements if we have to and then there's a practical part where you learn how to cut the fabric you learn how to sew the fabric and then after that we leave it off to the tailor and then we break off to lunch to Maboneng, a Joburg neighborhood with many restaurants, bars, new apartment buildings and market vibes. Vogue dubbed it the coolest neighborhood in Johannesburg. Maboneng itself means place of light. While many people would agree that the development has brought new light to the city, more critical voices might point out the downsides and exclusivity of gentrification. In any case, you can't argue with the fact that Maboneng is attracting large crowds that might previously not have been as interested in visiting Joburg CBD. My favorite time of the experience, food. So I'm actually having a local, or what I would say, an authentic South African meal, which this is called pop, uh, a steak, we also call it dry, and then Patsana Chakalaka, say it with me, Chakalaka, and then just relish. And honestly, this is what our South Africans enjoy. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this. After an amazing time spent in Maboneng with food, drinks, flying my drone, having a general look around, it was time to head back to the Karachi studio to pick up my newly tailored garment. Outfit reveal in 3, 2, 1. the saddest part of the day because the experience is done the city tour is done we're ready to end the day okay i don't want it to end but it has to at some point it has to and the sun has set so the sun is telling us it's a wrap exactly but it was a wonderful experience i got an amazing new top that i love which is africa inspired a pink lovely african fabric print um i saw the city i learned so much about the cbd and also about maboneng thank you so much thank you for embracing the city for bravering yourself to go into the city and just exploring it i always say to everybody this city is for those who want the vibe the art the everything cool so i'm glad you managed to come through and experience this and I hope other people when they see this video will get inspired to come and explore Johannesburg CBD.
please do um, the link is in the description if you want to book the experience with Sebo yes. really it's amazing I can recommend it I will definitely come back and yeah I'm so glad I got to see the authentic side of, of Joburg and the CBD so thanks again and thank you again for the next one bye, bye.